Hey everyone, Daniel here from Twin Bytes with another quick tutorial for you. This time all about USB ports to help you purchase the correct cable for the job and to also plug it into the correct port. So we're going to discuss the different types, speeds, colors with a little bit of history and the future of USB. So first off, it helps to understand the different connection types. You have different type of cables that will plug in for different type of devices. The first one we have is a type A where it would plug into the computer. The rest of them are for the specific devices. Such as the type B we have is typically for printers. Then you've got the mini series which is really was used a lot for the old phones and we had the mini A and B. We can see over here the uh, mini A versus B and the B was the more commonly used one on the old phones. Then we also have the micro A which was used on uh, some newer but still fairly old phones and then the newest phones use C which is also being used for many other devices as well so they're interchangeable between so many different devices and you can see by the shape of it that it doesn't matter which way you plug it in it's impossible to put that in upside down you also have the micro B which is typically found on USB backup drives like the external backup devices so looking at the series of USBs, we started off with the USB 1.0, which quickly emerged into the 1.1. And these, again, you can see that the picture has uh, got the USB side, but then the other end, we have a type A for the printer. It could be any type on the other end, but the thing is it's a USB with a white port typically found for the 1.0 or 1.1 series USB. This was originally developed in January 1966 and had a speed from anywhere from 1.5 megabit per second up to 12 megabit per second depending on a few different factors. It would have a maximum length of from anywhere from 3 to 5 meters. The next one up we had the USB 2.0 and I've got a picture of one showing here using the mini B connector this time and these typically you'll find on the computer the port will be black so if you see on the back of your computer or laptop a USB port that's black then that probably means it's a USB 2.0 these came out in around April 2000 and the speeds are up to as much as 480 megabit per second so that's a massive increase from what we had in the 1.0 series they can go up to 5 meters maximum length and this is when they started introducing the mini A and B series also they allow the ability for you to charge batteries through USB since 2.0 Looking at the USB 3.0, that's when things really started to take off. I got a picture showing that using the micro B for the external drives. And that's typically because they need more speed to transfer a lot of data a lot faster. And you'll find that these may have a connection port that's blue in color. They came out in November 2008 and the speeds go up to as much as 5 gigabit per second. So again, we're going in leaps and bounds here for the speed. 3 meters length maximum. So they're not really getting much longer at all and they never really will uh, so much because when you want to stay on top of the fast speed, you got to have the shorter length. The longer you go and you can add extensions uh, to make things work but if you extend it it's going to lose speed this introduced some physical symbol encoding and link level overhead which is all great except it reduces the speed by having this overhead so your 5 gigabits then drops down to th about 3.2 
Then we get into the USB 3.1. Now it looks blue, but it's more of a teal blue color. I've got a cable here with the Type-C connection. This came out in July 2013, and now we're doubling speed up to 10 gigabit per second. And the length wasn't quite as much. It could only go up to three meters. They couldn't quite hit the five meter max, but it, it seemed to be typically more uh, closer to the one meter. Uh, three meters is kind of pushing it. But they did reduce the line encoding, which allowed us to keep closer to that 10 gigabit per second. Now, we're going into 3.2, which we're really getting into uh, some more speeds here. I'm showing this again with this Type-C. Um, they, they don't look any different, the cables, but you may find a red port on the computer to identify it as a 3.2. This came out around September 2017, but we're doubling speed now from the 3.1 having 10 gigabits. We're up to 20 gigabit now per second. Still 3 meter maximum length. And then the future of USB. Uh, it's been introduced in August 2019, but we're just really seeing this start showing up on all the computers now. This is typically with the Type-C connectors on both sides. So from the end that plugs in the device to the end that plugs into the computer, it's the same on both sides. However, you can still get different type connectors and you can have adapters that'll convert the connections as well. These speeds double again from the 3.2 having 20 gigabit. We're at 40 gigabit per second now. These are insane speeds for doing massive video file transfers. We're still limited to a maximum of 5 meters, so we're not going to get any further ahead than that. And this is as far as we've gone with the USB technology as of today. Looking at other colors that you might find, you may see a yellow port that looks like a USB port but if it's yellow that means it's always on so that you can charge your phone or any other device through a USB port even if the computer is turned off it's still gonna have power going through that so typically yellow it could be orange and sometimes even red may identify that it's a always on so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful and makes sense of a little bit more of all the different USB ports on the back of your computer and laptop and figure out what's what. We've come quite a long way with the USBs over the years. And if you did find this helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye for now.